The Air Jordan 6 Olympic releases today and no one cared. Well, maybe you cared. Maybe you cared. I didn't care. I have two pairs from the last time they released. But I'm going to give you a detailed look, tell you what's special about the shoe. And we're going to talk about the fact that, in my opinion, Jordans are just played out. They're not popular. I will always wear Jordans because I love them. I do not care what's popular. I never have, and I never ever will care. I create my own style and it has to do with what I like to wear. As far as the shoe, we're gonna show you them on feet in just a second, so hold tight. And um, just um, some focal points on the Jordan 6. Of course, this was the first shoe. Michael Jordan won his first championship in. Also, you have your two, and then you have your three right here. You also have on the back, this is supposed to represent the spoiler. At the time, you know, the Porsche was, it's always been a hot car, but like to this day, it's still a hot car. But this was Jordan's car back then. Like he loved this car. So he wanted to throw that inspiration in the design when him and the designer put this shoe together. So just um, some focal points on the shoe. Now let's just get up close and talk more. Let's do it. So you have a uh, heavy tumbled leather in white and then a slightly tumble on the navy on the shoe. You have neoprene on the tongue with your lace lock, the lace cover with the Jumpman, and then the rubber tongue with Air Jordan across. Jumpman Air on the back, no Nike Air even on the OG with your spoiler. Looking at the outsole, it was icy. This is older model. I like that it's aged too, it looks dope. And all in all, I think that if you're a diehard Air Jordan 6 fan, this is a necessity to own. On foot, they look fresh to death like a million bucks. True to size as far as the fit. If you have a narrow foot, I've seen people go down half a size, but stay true to size. You should be good to go. Even if you have a wide foot, they're comfortable shoes. Very comfortable, the six. And uh, once again, I, I'm really surprised that um, they have sat how they sat. Let's hit you with that infamous birds. I you so infamous. Don't you agree? Quick question before we get into this discussion more about our Jordans played out, because we have to show this. Because my question is, if this sat, will this sit? And by the way, this will be linked in the description to help you guys out, all right, if you're looking for it. This shoe is the seven, clearly, for people that don't know. Michael Jordan actually wore this in the Olympics. Ray Allen wore this in the Olympics in 2000. Michael Jordan wore this back in the days when the shoe originally first came out. That's why it has the number nine on the back. Now, do you think if they released this shoe, would it sit? Being that this one sat. I mean, it's literally like really sitting, like heavy, heavy sitting. It's crazy because I did a review the other day on this shoe, and this shoe, which comes in a really kick-ass box, is, you know, it's a gray, non-OG colorway. This is not an OG colorway, by the way, but this is an old classic, right? This came out 2000, people loved it. This was very sought after, it sold out very quickly. This shoe sold out in a matter of a week, like, it's gone everywhere now, basically. Maybe in your city, you may have a pair sitting around. But some cities, this shoe sold out the same day or the day after. And then we talked about when we did this review, we had a discussion at the end. Why this sold so well. Um, and one thing was the fact that this is inspired by Paris and, you know, the Olympics. Well, this sure the hell did too, right? And also, this amazing shoe did too. These shoes really had to do with the Olympics. Mother effers were wearing these playing basketball in the Olympics, and they are both sitting. You can literally probably honestly get these for under retail. Once again, I'm going to do my best to try to help you guys out with the best places to get these for under retail. And also follow me on XAP at DJ Dells because I always post deals like whenever I find out about it. But yeah, man, I do think that Jordans are not very popular. Yes, people are buying some out, and I think resellers bought this shoe, that's why they sold out. I think resellers believe in that sneaker in the long run. Right now, the resale's not crazy. And I'm gonna link those two in the description. But I think down the road, that's gonna be some bread. This one is gonna be some bread. Um, and we talk a lot more about that. Watch the review, I show them on feet. We do a gorgeous review on that. This shoe is the Barcelona, by the way, which no one ever really shows. This shoe right here is all patent leather. It's a really nice shoe. Uh, and this one right here, the Barcelona 6, all pan leather on the upper. Check out the stitching on the toe. Very cool shoe. 
And I'm surprised they haven't brought this one back. Really surprised about that one. But who knows if it'll even sell because of the fact that this one is sitting. And this colorway is fire right here. Our six is becoming non-popular. You know, at one point, the six, the seven, these were very popular shoes. And the seven, people are treating the seven like a redheaded stepchild. And uh, the sixes are beginning to be treated like that too. If you check out how it's been performing lately when it comes down to like releases and everything, they're, they're not doing that well, the sixes. Uh, versus back in the days, they were selling pretty quick. But there was a time when Jordan sixes did sit like the Oreo six that released to the Varsity Red 6, those things were just sitting on the shelves. They had a Detroit Piston colorway that some people thought was so ugly. Shout out to my homeboy Dallas Penn. I remember he bought them for, I think, $64.99 at Models. I remember him being like, so like, because he was all about the come up. So he was like happy about that, man. Rest in peace to Dallas Penn, man. If you didn't see the tribute that I did for him, please watch that, man. Did you pick these up? Let me know in the comments. And do you think that Jordans are played out? I think one big problem with Jordan brand, the price point, them raising the price, it's like, it's so ridiculous how much you're asking for Jordans now. It's not even right anymore at this point. So people are like, yo, I'm not gonna buy them. They're just gonna go on sale. And then you're gonna end up getting them lower than they were a couple of years ago. So people are tired of it. They're tired of the fact that Jordan brand is just pumping up the prices to the point where it's ridiculous. We're seeing a lot of people really hype about other brands, which is a good thing. And um, at the end of the day, I really don't care about how Jordan Brand does as a company because I'm a consumer. I am not working for them. And until I get a check from them and I'm working for them doing designs or whatever the case is, I don't care how they perform as far as their sales. I just want the shoe. And if I could get it for under retail, then I am so happy that shoes like this are sitting and I hope they continue to sit and sit and sit. So once again, amazing shoe. If you were thinking about getting it, I will tell you, in my opinion, this is a top 10 colorway of the Air Jordan 6. Um, it has history to it. If you're a fan of Ray Allen, you know, I mean, Ray Allen's one of the greatest shooters ever. Like this is just a sick shoe and a great one to wear for the summertime, especially during the Olympics, 4th of July. This is a killer 4th of July shoe. This is a killer 4th of July shoe. Both of these you could get right now, probably for under retail. True to size, true to size. I showed this on foot on the last vlog I did. I'll try to put a pop up when I get a chance. Smash the like if you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your time. And watch last night's sneaker battle. It's in the live section. We got my sneaker attic t-shirts. And I'm about to watch SummerSlam. Let me know if you guys are watching too. And if you did, what did you think about the pay-per-view? And did you watch the new Deadpool Wolverine movie? I did. You want to hear my review with me and the homies? We talk about that on the battle also, all right? There's some boxes. Click one of the boxes. Watch more. I'm Dells. Peace and love. We out. Yeah. <laughs>